Have you heard about SpaceX's wild plan to literally catch the Super Heavy booster? Wait, you haven't? Okay, then let me tell you all about it. Welcome back to Super Freaky Science, and in today's video, we're going to talk through Musk's plans to catch the Super Heavy booster and how realistic those plans are. Without further ado, let's get into it. In 2002, Elon Musk announced a daring plan to the world. He would build a reusable rocket that would land vertically after launching and make spaceflight very cheap. No one believed him, some people even laughed at him. Well, years and lots of failed rocket experiments later, SpaceX was landing a Falcon 9 rocket vertically after launch. This episode taught everyone to take Elon Musk seriously when he says something. But that was a while ago. Let's talk more about current events. SpaceX's new rocket prototype, the Starship, is said to be the biggest rocket ever built by man. The rocket comes in two stages. The first stage, which is called the Super Heavy Booster, and the second stage, which is called the Starship. The Super Heavy Booster is the booster stage that allows the Starship to escape the gravity and atmospheric pressure of the Earth. According to Musk, when the rocket is returning to Earth, it will be caught. Yes, like you catch a ball or something. The Starship Over the last year, SpaceX has been hard at work developing the Starship rocket system. When it's completed, it will most likely be the first fully reusable launch system and will be able to take trips to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and yes, even to Mars. According to Musk, when the rocket returns to Earth, it will be caught by something he calls the Launch Tower. Musk let everyone know this through a tweet that was released in response to a question from one of his followers. The follower was a space designer who goes by the Twitter handle EricX, at EricXSpace. At EricXSpace posted a video that illustrated how the Super Heavy might look returning to its base and asked Musk how accurate the video was. Musk responded by saying, we're going to try to catch the Super Heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grind fins to take the load. That's saying, no, the Super Heavy booster won't be landing like other rockets. Instead, it will be caught by the mechanical arm. It's easy to say that this is a wild idea and is wildly unrealistic. But this is surely not the first time that people have attempted to catch a returning rocket. Helicopters Catching Rockets as recently as 2020, Rocket Labs successfully tested a way to catch returning rockets using two helicopters. To run the test, the company dropped a dummy rocket from one helicopter and caught the falling vehicle in midair with another helicopter. That's not all. The United Launch Alliance, a partnership between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, has been working on catching rockets midair for more than a decade. And you may argue that mid-air recovery of rockets is extremely complicated, and you would be right. It's extremely complicated, but many say that it is infinitely less complicated than guiding a rocket to a landing pad in the middle of an ocean. Anyway, Musk won't be catching the Super Heavy booster mid-air with helicopters, because that sounds like a catastrophe waiting to happen. The Super Heavy booster weighs about 7 million pounds, and your average helicopter weighs just 34,000 pounds, so that's out of the question. But a mechanical hand attached to a tower is realistic. There are many ways the tower and mechanical arm could look, but there is one central theme. It has a harness, and that harness is what lowers the Super Heavy booster to the launching pad. This sort of landing is great because it removes the need for a landing leg and drastically increases the odds of a safe landing. It also means that SpaceX will be able to get rid of the additional weight that the legs add to the frame of the Super Heavy booster that will allow it to carry a few extra tons. According to Musk, this catch system will make it easier for the Starship to make regular trips to outer space. In the past, Musk has hinted that he wanted to accelerate the development of the Starship in such a way that the company would be able to build 100 a year for 10 years. That means the company would have a fleet of thousands of Starships. 
This fleet, Musk claimed, would be able to transport about 100 megatons of cargo or 100,000 people to Mars every 26 months. With that kind of carrying power, Musk would be able to have at least 100,000 people on Mars by the late 2020s. That's if everything goes according to plan. But as you know, this plan is incredibly ambitious and there are still many who think that it's flat out impossible. Before we go to the last segment, we've got our super freaky fact for you. And we've got a wager to boot. If you knew this fact we're going to tell you before, don't do anything. But if you didn't, you'd have to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Deal? Of course it is. The universe is completely silent. Yes, you can't hear a pin drop in space. Did you know that? Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you didn't. What Musk Can Do Now In the meantime, pending the actualization of the ultimate mission, which is the colonization of Mars, SpaceX is focused on making space exploration and super-fast internet easily accessible to most people. If the Starship works, SpaceX will be able to more rapidly deploy the thousands of Starlink satellites that will create the mega-constellation that will deliver broadband internet to people across the globe. The ability to fully reuse the Starship also means that the company will be able to go on regular trips to the moon, and there are already plans in place for that first trip. As per SpaceX's contractual obligations with NASA and a landing by soft touch Catalyst program, SpaceX will be sending cargo and crews to the moon in support of Project Artemis. All of this sounds so exciting, and there's still so much to see and learn. So turn on the notification bell so that you're up to date with everything in the freaky world of science. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.